chapter that focuses on efficiency and equity and the questions that we're going to try to answer in this chapter is the following so imagine that every time you drink water or order a meal at a restaurant you express your perspective about how scarce resources should be handled you will make choices in your self-interest but markets uh, will always coordinate your choices with the choices of everyone else the questions we're trying to ask is, do markets do a good job and do they enable our self-interest choices to benefit the social interest? And lastly, do markets produce a fair outcome? Those are the kind of questions we want to answer when we talk about efficiency and equity. And we're going to kick it off with talking about resource allocation methods. Now, we have nine allocate allocation methods and uh, you will go you will see them as I go through uh, these videos this won't be a one part video I'm sure it will span a couple of videos but let's start off with the first allocation method which is market price now the description is on the is on the right of this uh, t of this column so let's just start off so market price market when market price allocates a scarce resource the only those who are willing and able to pay that price gets the resource and that pretty much uh, is how our world works so imagine that if you have a very nice computer that you want to buy uh, well the computer is two thousand dollars but only those who are willing to uh, who are willing and able to pay the two thousand dollars will get the resource and that's market price there are two kinds of people uh, that decide not to pay the market price and um, the first kind is those who can afford to pay but choose not to pay and the second kind is those who are too poor and cannot buy the the product most scarce resources we supply get allocated by market price so those are things like uh, as i just said computers uh, food um, pretty much mo most of what you can think of is uh, allocated by market price. Uh, for example, you sell your labor services in a market and you buy most of what you consume in markets. And uh, what you need to know is that usually markets do a good job in allocating the, um, the, pro the, the products for most goods and services or the market price for most goods and services. Now the second the second uh, allocation method that I want to talk about is command. So a command system, command system. Uh, I'm just gonna drop the font a bit. The font seems too big here. So let's just make this 18. Or that's too small now. 24. No, that's just back to where we were. Let's use 18. So a command system. So a command system allocates resources by order or command. Uh, this is by someone of authority, someone in authority. So we allocate our resources by order of someone in authority. Now in countries like Canada, where I live, command system is used, is used extensively inside firms and government departments and I'm sure this occurs in other countries as well. So an example of this is your job and your boss. You would normally do what your boss tells you to and that's an example of a command system. Now labor is allocated to specific tasks by command, by a command. And that's just uh, restating what I told you that uh, the labor you provide is allocated uh, you're told what to do by your boss who is the, the, the person with authority. Now the command system works well in organizations organizations where authority and responsibilities abilities of labor is clear and easy to monitor. But the system works badly when a range when a range of activities activities is large and it is easy for people to fool authority. Activities 
where okay yeah there you go so an example of this is let's say you work in a startup company now the command system would work very well in a startup company because everybody is tightly knit there's not a lot of people and your boss which is the CEO might be able to tell you or will prop most likely be able to tell you what to do. So the command system works well there, but when you're in a big company where the CEO is like in another country, then uh, that is a system that works badly. The command system works badly because it is easy for you to, f to slack off and to fool the person in authority, which is your CEO, which is in, a in another country. And that's all I want to go through today. It's just an early introduction, but uh, in the coming videos, uh, we're just going to talk more about these resource allocation methods. Thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.